so this is part two of the video. Uh, it's been only two parts. Quite a lot of finds have come out this morning. Me and Andrew have been digging away like mad. We're down this hole now. I'm still up here in a kind of shallow hole. Loads of finds coming out up here. He's got loads of finds coming out down there. So we're just going to carry on this morning and just see if we can get any more finds. And we'll get back to you guys in the first find. Right guys, just dug that. It's a wee vase. Check that out. <laughs> Then we're only dig another AG bar. And then we're only dig a big AG bar. And then we're only dig this melons. I think it's infant food in it. London. Yep, melons infant food London. I then went and dug another AG bar. Loads of them came out today. Another AG bar, pickle jar. And this one is uh, James Horner. Big bottle as well. I dug this little thing, if anybody knows what it's off of, blue, in a circle. Is that a perfume bottle or something like that? I then went on to dig a little inkwell. And then I dug this little beauty, check this out. All Sops Limited Glasgow, trademark. Nice little beer bottle. Loving that. That's going to go in my collection. I think I've already got one of these, so I'll need to check when I get home. But if I've not, that's definitely going in my collection. Well, late last night I was filming myself, and you'll see that in the video. And this is the one I got, it was a Portobello. Again, this one is in great condition. No chips, no marks, no nothing. Just a little Portobello. That's going to go in my display cabinet. Absolutely mint. Woohoo! Good evening guys, how are we? So I'm just I'm shining a light in here so you can see this. Back there there's definitely a ginger beer. Possibly a porter ginger beer. I don't really know what it is. I'm sorry, you sir. Andrew's just dug this. Check this little doll's head out. That is absolutely lovely. Love a little doll's head inside it. You can just make out the eyes that are in there. The two eyes are still in there, so that's pretty cool. Lovely little find, a wee doll's head with the eyes. Andrew's dug this little blue one and it says CW and S on it. No idea what that is, cod liver oil perhaps, I don't know, I've seen blue cod liver oils. Don't know if that's poison or not, but if any of you guys know, let us know. I think not because it's not ribbed, so that it just looks like similar to a, a smaller version of a cod liver oil that I've previously found. Andrew's just dug this out and it's a, wow, check that out, it's a bottle. But it's a really, really strange colour, I've never seen one like that before. Little ID on it, if any of you guys know what it is, let me know. Had another one out, which is a, a stoneware ink. Then went on and dug another stoneware ink. He then went on and dug a, a bovro. After the bovro, he went and whacked this little beauty, and he had one of these before, so it was good to get another one. And that's a Cooper and Co. furniture polish, Glasgow, Liverpool, and London. Check that beauty out. Little stunner. Woohoo! Andrew's just dug that out, check that. One live. Not whole, it's like a, is that an AG bar? This? No, it's uh, McKinty, sorry, McIntyre and, McIntyre and McCall's Glasgow beer bottle. That would have been nice. Right, <clears throat> right, he's just dug this as well, which is a ink well. I'm not sure if it's a desk ink well with a sat inside a desk. Some of them are <coughs> marked with the writing on the outside. This one is plain. But you can see where the little pen would have been in and you'd have dipped your pen for the ink. Andrew's just dug this big earthenware pot up. Big beauty. Check that out. Woohoo! Well, Andrew's just dug this and it's a little Eiffel Tower lemonade. Of course it wouldn't have contained lemonade, it was actually lemonade crystals that were in these and which would have made lemonade. That's why it's so small, if anybody's wondering, because that would have been like one zip. <laughs> so that was used as crystals and they uh, would have made lemonade. Well you know what they say, the best finds always come for Andrew. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> a Kaya Comrie cod bottle. Check this little picture on this, it's absolutely brilliant. It looks like a kid with a bone arrow and some kind of leaf. 
registered Springbank Glasgow. What a find, a lovely cod bottle. Woohoo! There you go, that's just popped out, little penny ink. That's nice. Straight in the bag we go. It's a big finds bag of day. Loads of digging, loads of finds. Andrew's the same, he's packing up his finds as well just now. And I think we're going to be calling it a day. So on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting. And I'll catch you guys in another dig soon. Bye for now.